I need to make a decision on this. Can you do it again? <laughs> Welcome to Beer and Board Games, folks, and we hope you're ready to sit down and settle into a nice long double feature. I just want to point out that last week's episode and tonight's episode represent our first tri-state collaboration here on Beer and Board Games. We're covering Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Illinois. Go State! How are things in the city of Chicago? I have no idea. I haven't left my apartment in six weeks. <laughs> Double Feature is a little party game involving movies, and I would like to do something in real life. Drink a beer. Well, how about the exact same thing we had last week? Fuck COVID, because that's all the beer that I have right now. We're going to drink this again because it was so good, and I have lots of it. The object of Double Feature is to name movies that link elements from two Double Feature cards. Characters, props, production scenes, setting, theme, and genre. Repeat until someone has earned enough points to win Double Feature. That means having one of every card. I declare Rob Matsushita the winner. Mm. I'm actually not that great at games like this for some reason. If I don't have time to plan, sometimes I can't come up with a movie name. Why don't I be the first judge? Okay. I will pick theme and genre and setting. Western or war movie. The setting is the West. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pick a different one. The setting is the South. Band of uh, Brothers? North and South. Oh, wait, that's a TV miniseries. Gone with the wind. That's a war movie. Congratulations, Annalise. That's one point for you. That's the final Wait. point I will accrue. A character setting. Changes identity in one vehicle, building, or neighborhood. Quick change. Does that satisfy the requirements? What happens in that? He dresses up as a clown, and then he, during the bank robbery, he takes off his clown outfit, and he pretends to be someone who was trapped in the bank. Oh, yeah. That's one building. It came out in the late 80s, and I believe it was the big screen debut of Tony Shalhoub. Bluff Tune. Yeah. <laughs> Bluff Tune. Bluff Tune. That scene in the cab when Randy Quaid says, Why don't you clean the shit out of your ears? That's you don't know red from hell. I will laugh at that forever. It's me. I'm going to choose characters and props. Ready? Ready. Best friends or bitter enemies, a ring, a glove, or a watch. A Fellowship of the Ring. All right, Matt gets it. You guys don't have to say a word. Shut the door, both of you. Don't say a word. Matt got that point. I'm going to go with prop and theme. Something either red, white, or blue. The theme is tragedy. Uh, born it on the 4th of July. It. What did you say, Annalise? It. These are all good answers, and they were all pretty simultaneous. <laughs> well, I'm going to go with born on the 4th of July. I feel like that's... that's uh... It covers all the colors, am I right? Okay, I'm picking production and scenes. Time travel or a countdown. Title is one word long. Timeline. Musical or animation, a reptile, a fish, or an amphibian. Rango. Damn it. You got three of the six so far. You're leading. I earned it. Um, mm, debatable. It's not debatable. That is a surprise. No, we haven't seen this cat. Oh, look at that one. Aww. That one's just as cute. This is Alfie. He's wearing socks. It's one of those cats with spats. The spats cat. I like that cat. What does it do any tricks? No, Alfie is very stupid, but he is very sweet <laughs> and he doesn't land on his feet. Hey folks, would you like to help us continue making this show during all the stuff that's happening? Well, become a patron. When you're a patron at any level, you can watch our live streams. We also do more casual hangouts. We still do the drunk podcast. All of that stuff is still going on at patreon.com slash beer and board games. How was that brownie? Is that homemade? Yeah. Is not always in English... In an office, a school, or a prison. <laughs> Stand and deliver. What is that movie about? Jaime Escalante. It's about Escalante? It's about a man who teaches 
uh, advanced math to inner city uh, Latino kids. Yeah, it was one of those wave of inspirational teacher movies that came out in the late 80s. What was the one with Morgan Freeman? That was Lean on Me. That actually, that happened at uh, a lot of the kids who were in, when that really happened, a lot of the kids who were in that school got transferred to my high school at the time that that really happened. Oh, wow. I'm going to do production and props. Title is at least four words long. Obvious product placement. Josie and the Pussycats. Any of the Transformers movies that have a subtitle. I already won it. Sub- yeah, you can't win. You're the... No, Rob's the judge. Is it Rob? I'm oh. the judge. I was the reading judge. the cards for him. I'm going to give it to Matt. Blue but you didn't know the name of the movie. What is the name of the movie? Transformers Dark of the Moon. Thank you. Yes, that's what I would have said if I was you. If I'd known the answer, I would have said that. All right, Matt's got a light blue. That's four out of the six. Matt is blatantly winning. So what do I need to win? Scenes and props. Couldn't we conceivably just never choose the ones that you need? Yeah. Yeah. That's no fun, though. So I choose character and setting. Barefoot or pregnant during spring or summer. Zabriskie Point. Uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That's a good one. Bare Feet are practically a co-star at that movie. I'm going to give Matt a chance, similar to how you'd give Peace a chance. Theme and genre, uh, but props is the main category. A match or a mirror, kids movie or family movie. Goonies. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. What did you say, Greebs? I said Goonies. Well, I think Rob kind of said Goonies quicker. All right, not according to my delay. Scene and setting. Oh, this one will appeal to Rob. There's smoking, burning, or firing. Spans more than 10 years. The Irishman. Um, Coffee and cigarettes. I'm going to go with coffee and cigarettes because cigarettes are more of an integral part of that, and it does span more than 10 years. Yes! Rob is the judge, and I'm reading his cards. Character and production. Character is supernatural. Title has a number in it, but isn't a sequel. 13 Ghosts. Rob, you're the judge. Uh, Oh, shit, you're right. Leonard, part six. Two Towers. I know it's a sequel, but the name isn't, like, the second. No, no, and there's supernatural characters in it. I think she's got it. It's a rural setting. Rurger. Okay, all right. There's a big meal, a big deal, or a big bang. Witness. Big fish. Zoop. Duh. Uh, the, uh, the, what was that movie uh, that took place in the cornfields to start with and then it became like science fiction out at the end of the galaxy? Couldn't tell you. It was a science fiction movie and uh, they took a, a ship out to the end of the galaxy and then time got all messy. Interstellar. Yes, Interstellar. That's my answer. Yeah, well, Rob wins it because he actually guessed a movie and didn't ask for an answer. <laughs> There are lots of reward levels on patreon.com slash games. The top reward level is the Supreme Leader, which is currently occupied by this man. That's right. All hail our Supreme Leader. But there's plenty of other reward levels for you to explore. Go check them out. Oh, God, I'm a shopper. That's so weird because I'm not like a shopper anymore. I can't be. You should do I'm not a shopper. Yesterday, I didn't go anywhere. I stayed home and I just stared at my walls all day long. Then I touched my dong. I'm not a shopper. He's not a shopper. I'm not a shopper. He's not a shopper. I got some food delivered to my house. It was really good. It tasted like mouse. Hot David delivered it to me. He said, here you go, G. I (laughs) ate all of it up. It was so good, right up my butt. I'm not a shopper. (laughs) All right, so Matt gets that point, but he doesn't because he already has. I don't feel like we're playing the game right. (laughs) I should have won already. There must be some rules here that need to be changed. It's a little late in the series to be saying things like that. No, because... You, the three of you can conspire against me forever and never pick the cards True. that I need. Yeah, I don't see anything that says that Matt just automatically wins. <laughs> Production and characters, here we go. Title contains someone's name. 
is filthy or filthy rich. Brewster's Millions. Trading places. Oh, no. Mr. Places. I'm going to have to give this to Matt. Come on, we didn't even have time to answer, goddammit. I don't like the whole I'm competing, but I'm also drawing the card. We got no choice. Is a remake or was remade a hat, a mask, or a helmet? Star Wars, The Last Jedi. That's not a remake. Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, it's a it's a remake. No, it's not. It's a sequel. Phantom of the Opera is a remake. Phantom of the Opera. There's a dream or fantasy sequence. Character is dopey, sneezy, sleepy, or bashful. Oklahoma. Nightmare on Elm Street. Who in Oklahoma is one of those things? I don't know. Oh, Nightmare on Elm Street, sleepy. Yeah. 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 Rob gets another card. Title contains some geography. There's a dance sequence. Oklahoma. <laughs> Brigadoon. Mine is a cool geography. Brigadoon only exists once every hundred years. Yeah, no, that's fair. <laughs> I'm going to give it to Annalise because she's right and because she's also right about what Brigadoon is about. I'm all for that. She wins. But Brigadoon is is a place, so it's actual geography. It's not a real place, <laughs> but it is a place. But, but Annalise wins. Brigadoon exists all the time. Brigadoon only exists once every hundred years. I'm not arguing against you. I'm <laughs> arguing for myself. Sure. But I also said mine first. I, you have the point. <laughs> all right, we're done. Annalise wins the game. No, she didn't though. Rob won. No. What are you talking about? Annalise is the winner. All right. Annalise wins because every 100 years, Annalise wins. Folks, we had a good time tonight. We learned how embarrassed we should be for not having seen any of these movies. We learned that knowing a lot about movies often doesn't help you in any social way. And we learned that not everybody's internet connection is good. We hope that you'll come back and join us next week. There's going to be a new episode of the show. And we're going to be doing it here in our homes, presumably. And we hope you'll join us from your home. And then the two of us, it'll be like we're at home together. Because we're connecting. <clears throat> Good night. A ding, ding, ding. Yesterday, I sheltered in place. I stared at my face. I said, it's lonely in here. I drank a lot of beer. I'm not a shopper. He's not a shopper. I'm not a shopper. He's no longer He's a, shopper. a shopper. 